Okay, well here I am to finish up the double double jump tutorial. Sorry the last video was boring, but uh, pretty anticlimactic I know, but yeah, I hope it was interesting. Uh, so the first piece of circuitry we're going to put down for this is the... There's an AND gate, an OR gate, uh, an inverter, and a toggle. Now I'm going to explain what these do as we connect the devices. Um, what the toggle is going to do is allow us to do our double jump, but only make our double jump once, because we don't want to keep double jumping, which was the problem in the last video. So to start this, we're going to connect the output of the AND gate to the input of the OR gate, not the toggle. An OR gate will turn on whenever it detects uh, one of its inputs being held high or turning on. And we connect the output of the OR gate to the input of the toggle. So what happens is when we do our jump, our toggle is going to toggle on and we're going to tell the AND gate not to jump anymore and lock it in until we actually touch the ground again. So the output of the AND gate, when it turns on and it touches the ground again, we're going to send another ON, on command to the actual toggle uh, switch to turn it off again. So no matter what, if we're touching the ground and that toggle switch is turned on, it will turn itself off. So now the last thing we need to do is connect the output of the toggle to the inverter and change the AND gate to a 4-port AND gate. So when my toggle's turned off, I have a 1 at that AND gate, so I can still do my first jump. But if I make my second jump, that turns off, and I cannot make another jump until I touch the ground. So you can see I'm trying to jump some more, and I can't. I'm only doing my one jump, and that is the double jump. You can now do it. Congratulations. Hope you found that interesting. Anyways, see you guys later.